So what may have happened to you is this. You've accidentally removed the desktop section from your Finder window. You know, like when you open up any folder on your Mac, you can see the toolbar on the left side, which contains things like Applications folder, download section, and other things, among which should also be the desktop section. So let's see how you can bring it back in case you removed it somehow. Okay, so you need to make sure you are inside the Finder. You need to have it open. You know it's open because next to the Apple logo that's in the upper left corner, you can also see the word Finder. So you need to click on that specific word, click on the title that says Finder, and you'll be presented with multiple options. One of the buttons is preferences, which is basically like the settings page for the Finder app. So naturally go ahead and click on it. Now what you can see here is a new window. You can see some general settings, then next to it tags and also sidebar and advanced section. Now you need to click on the sidebar button. The very first section there is the favorites folder or like all the sections within Finder that are your favorite. So in your case, desktop will be unchecked. So just re-enable it once again. After you do this, when you come back to the pretty much any folder, you'll then be able to see the desktop in the sidebar the same way you did in the past. This, however, is not the only way you can achieve this result, because besides this method, there is also another method you can use. So still in the Finder folder on the left side, in the sidebar, you should see the button that says Locations. Now click on it, then click on your hard drive. It may take a while for us to get where we want. Okay, then open the Users folder. Then you'll have to click on your name, and finally inside the section, you'll see the Desktop folder. Now you can simply drag it over to the left side, drag it like this, and then release it, let it go, and it will stay on the left side in your sidebar the same way you want. Now, of course, you can add some different things there as well. So not just this specific folder, but you get my point. So it doesn't matter which method you used as long as you're getting the result that you wanted. Now, this is basically the end of today's video. For more videos like this one, make sure you are subscribed to the Foxtech YouTube channel because there I upload a lot of similar tutorials and I want you to never miss the new ones. Thank you for watching until the end and I'll catch you guys in the future. Peace.